you may have gleaned by now, I'm something of a headset junkie. Mm -hmm. When you spend as much time as I do, quiet you, uh, sitting in front of the PC playing games, the headset I'm wearing damn well better be comfortable and sound good. And Creative announced their World of Warcraft headset last year at BlizzCon, and I've been testing them out for the past two weeks at home. They come in two versions. This is the wireless version. There's also a USB wired pair. That's a little bit on the cheaper side. And since I've never used a wireless set before, I decided to give this one a try. What? You got to show that they they glow and they change. They colors. do. They they have these lovely little face plates on it's the like side here. It's like being at SEMA and seeing some car that slowly changes colors. Well, you can you can change the settings, so really? you can have it be one sing, single color, or you can have it rotate throughout all the colors. And these face plates here are removable, so right now you can see the um, this is the. Lion? Yeah, this is the lion for the alliance. <laughs> and there's also a horde insignia that you can switch it with as well. And they're actually very light. They look very heavy and big, but they're not that bad. Oh, wow, these are really light. How's the audio quality? Well, the audio quality is good. I'll get to that. Give me these back. Ooh. I want to show off a little bit more of the um, of how they're made. So they've got the detachable microphone here. So very if you nice. want to have a snack and don't want your food to get on your microphone, you can detach it here. There's uh, four hours of charge time. Not that you've ever time. gotten food on your microphone. No, not that I've ever done that. I've gotten lip gloss on the damn thing like three <laughs> times already today. But anyway, um, it is wireless, so it does use up battery power as you're playing. Um, it takes four hours to fully charge, and then it plays for about nine hours of solid play time. That's not too bad. Which isn't bad at all, actually. And you can also use them while they're charging over USB. Now, okay, that was my next big yes, question. Yes, that was my first question. Because you're like, to I them. Am, she'll come in and be like, what'd you do with somebody's 18 hours? You played what for how long? <laughs> <laughs> that was me this weekend, actually. I'm leveling up my, my secondary tune now to try to get her to 80. And so I was playing a lot this weekend. And this got me through the whole weekend without dying once on me. And what I love is that you can actually get up and walk around. I would go all the way to the kitchen, you know, to nuke some queso. I brought back a lot of queso with me from Austin. And I could still hear everyone in Vent talking. They couldn't hear me, though, and that's one of the downsides, but we'll get to that later. Okay. Um, let's cover the good stuff first. They sound great. Uh, as I wireless. would expect from Creative, yeah, it's uncompressed. Really? So uncompressed wireless, so very the nice. audio quality is really nice. Um, they're very comfortable. They've got this leather padding here. They can, and it's on top. Faux leather. It's leather yeah, I guess it's, you know, I don't actually know if it's faux or real. I'm assuming I'm sure it's, it's faux. faux. It's got to be, <laughs> it's right? Faux. Or else it'd be like $500. Yes. <laughs> um, super comfortable. You can wear them for a super long time. Oh, I forgot. Hold on. I forgot that I had the voice modulation on, so as I was talking, it was piping my own voice back into my headset. <laughs> we'll get to those a little bit later. Um, it's got a pretty standard frequency response of uh, 20, 20 hertz to 20, kil 20, uh, to, you know, 20 kilohertz. Right. And, uh, the yeah. music range. The yeah. music range, <laughs> right. You can get like the, the A40s that we reviewed a couple weeks ago have a bit of a wider frequency response, but those are mostly for console gaming anyway. Um, the mic is also really nice and clear. My guildies gave it about an 8 out of 10 in terms really? of mic quality. Have they ever heard a 10? I don't know if they've ever heard a 10. Have they ever given anything a 10? I don't know what they would consider a 10. It, it would have to be like the room, like you were in the right. room with them. And uh, it was better than my other headset, which we'll show a little bit later as okay. well. Um, the cups themselves are super comfortable, like I mentioned. It's not too heavy, so you can wear it for an extended amount of time. Not bad. Um, it has volume controls on the side, which I also really like. <laughs> and runes. Yeah, it has these lovely little, I don't know what these are supposed to say. They look like glyphs of some kind. And you can push the volume up and down on the side here. Uh, the volume up button is a little, it doesn't push as well mm -hmm. as the volume down button, so it's a little harder to tell when you're actually pressing it. And the one thing I would have liked to have seen was a push to talk button on the actual headset. So, so if I do, <laughs> if, I, if I leave, I can actually continue no, conversing no, with no, the people no. in Vent. I mean, when I'm off in the kitchen grabbing something or, you know, I have to leave my desk for a little while, I can still hear my guildmates talking, but I can't respond to them. Oh, okay. So I thought you meant like a mute your microphone. Right. If that. I use push to talk. Some people don't do that. Some people leave their mic open all the time, but mm -hmm. I think that's kind of annoying, so I don't do it. Um, so I would love a push to talk feature actually right. on the headset or at least a programmable button that I could use that Assign for. That too. Yeah. And they're also super sound isolating. Like, I can't hear anything when I'm wearing them. This is good. Yeah, so if I'm playing and if I have the volume even at a reasonable level, mm -hmm. I can't hear anyone talking to me in nice. the room. So it's super, that's nice. Um, the voice effects part is really funny. This is one of my favorite features of it. It's like the least useful feature probably, unless you're trying to actually mask this your voice. This is like the 90 second attempt to do something people enjoy with EAX. Right. Um, <laughs> let's see, I'll take the mic off and hopefully you'll be able to hear it if I put it like this. So right now, can you hear it? Right now I'm talking as Melganis. 
he's, he's, he's in the game. And I can change it and talk like a bunch of other characters as well from the drop down menu. I can be a children's week orphan. And then I sound like this. And I'm really high pitched. And that's a little ridiculous. And then I can be, let's see. We'll try, let's try a gnome male. Shouldn't be that different from the children's week orphan. Cause gnomes suck. The village elder one is kind of weird. I don't really get that one. It sounds kind of old and gravelly in a way, I guess. And then well, the one thing I'm sad about though, is they don't have a Torin. They have all the other, pretty much all the other races, except they don't have a female Torin, and that's what really? my main character is. And so I would love to be able to actually talk in her voice right. when I was in Vent, but they don't have that. They have a lot of different EQ settings, so you can futz around with that too if you if you want to. Um, they have uh, the THX stuff, so you can add like a crystallizer or the surround sound and change the percentage on those. And then you can do key bindings, which is also pretty cool. And then there's the illumination settings, which I get a big kick out of. Although you don't really get to enjoy them when you're playing because you can't see you the colors mirror. changing. You could set up a very complicated system of mirrors, Maybe I suppose, you, in your gaming room. You could put your monitor on a vanity, and that way you can enjoy the... That would be weird. All right. <laughs> so you can either cycle through the colors, or you can select a specific color that you want it to be all the time. So now I have it. It should be red. Is it red? It is red. Red for the horde. Or you can change it blue for the scumbag alliance. Or you can just blue. have it cycle through. So yeah. do anything on that whole. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it should. It, it's set to one minute, but it probably will take a little while for it to. Is it going fast? Is it changing? No, it's, it's, it's changing quite nicely. Oh, good. That's nice. It's like watching Christmas tree lights. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got some fun features. I mean, it is the World of Warcraft branded headset, right. so it's going to do some fun stuff. But there are some downsides. Uh, like I mentioned, I wish there was a push to talk button mm -hmm. on the actual headset. That would be super nice. Every so often, I hear like a little pop sound. Hmm. And I don't know if it has to do with the wireless or, you know, they say there's no compression, so I don't think it's anything like that. That, but I just get a little pop in in the in the right ear, and I don't really know what's causing it. And I never got that with any other headset. If maybe a, if a firmware upgrade makes it go away, you'll know it was a yeah. software issue. And, <laughs> <laughs> and on top of everything, they're not that cheap. I mean, the wireless version is $159 on Amazon, wow. so they're they're up there in terms of PC headsets. They, they, they change colors. They change colors, though, <laughs> right. The wired version is going to run you a little less at about 119. Um, and then you can compare them to the headset I was using before that, also from Creative, the uh, Creative Fatality. There is cat hair all over these velvet ear pads. I am so sorry. That is disgusting. But to any extent, my cats play WoW when I'm gone. I can't stop I, them. I just, they get the fur everywhere. If I come home everywhere. with your cat hair on me, my cat will eat my socks. And you can tell the weight differential isn't that much. That's actually kind of surprising. And the, the fatalities held up for you. Yeah. You're also, because I, I heard a bunch of people, who, a couple friends who had bought these and they kind mm -hmm. of disintegrated on them. Of course, they're also probably not as careful with their toys as I, you are. I'm, I'm very careful with these, actually. I keep them usually out of reach of all small animals and things that would want to destroy <laughs> them. Uh, these tend to heat up a little bit for me, too. I mm -hmm. don't know if it's the velvet difference between the faux leather, um, but these get really hot on my head after a little while. But the one thing I do like better about the fatality headset is the microphone is much bendier. Right. And so if I do want to sit there and have a snack and still be able to talk in between bites. I can just move it out of the way. This one is not quite so limber. It, it kind of moves, but it's not. It doesn't really right. stay in position. And these are but these are great. And they're, so it's probably more food resistant. That's true. That's good point. <laughs> Easier to clean. Get lip lip gloss and lipstick off of them. Um, but these are only about 40, 50 bucks. Okay. So the bottom line is that. If you want a really nice pair of headphones that are going to last you a long time and have some cool branded World of Warcraft features. If you're a World of Warcraft enthusiast. If you're a World of Warcraft enthusiast or just a PC gamer in general that mm -hmm. wants to have a nice, you know, creative set with Sound Blaster, these are, these are great. You know, if you want to spend a little bit less money, get the wired version if wireless isn't that important to you. I gotta say, I'm impressed. If 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 you're good with the audio and you're walking like 30, 40 feet and, and with a wall between those and, oh, yeah. and the, the USB dongle, that's pretty impressive, actually. I mean, you've you've been to my apartment before. There's a good amount of, of foot space between the you know the office on one end of the apartment right. and the kitchen in the complete opposite end of the apartment, and I could hear everything perfectly. Impressive. Yeah. So not bad.